Uh -huh. Hey, everybody. It's Cameron Rider from the GameCube. Today we're playing some Fabernaz. And we're gonna... We're gonna make some stuff. Possibly including a chunk loader. We'll see. It may be time to make a chunk loader. Hello, yes. Have we started streaming? Sure have. True enough. Let's see about making one of these, actually. That's not the right thing. That's the right thing. Can we make... A key bay chunk loader. We're missing some ice of ender. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. We're missing a enchanting table. Inconceivable. We had one book, it seems. One chunk loader. Great. We've got one. Uh, what is it? A 3G? That's the one. Okay, so herein lies our base. Let us place our chunk loader here. How is this a 5x5, five five, my friend? This is a 3x3, three three, my friend. However, it has chunk loaded a portion of our base. Let you keep 5x5 five five chunk area loaded. Your verbiage is strange, but your point is communicated. Great. Interesting. Chances per chunk of 20. Gosh. Gosh. So yeah, cool. Ooh, and nether gobber. We're going to have to make new tools soon. Now we don't have uh, indestructible anymore. Feels bad. But we should make the next level of all the gobber stuff. Probably. Something to work on. Let's put these away. Uh, at worst, if we need to chunk load, we can also go just force load these. Thus. And look, our whole base is now force loaded. If we needed to do it that way. Um, but we don't really have much going on on this side, aside from the uh, monster spawner, which won't spawn monsters next to it. Or in it, unless we're close anyway, for now. Speaking of, that is the thing we're going to want. We do want to make this. But it's a little expensive, just at the moment. Because we don't have any sort of automated resources incoming. Which is wild to me. We don't have any sort of quarry or anything. Oh, we did set up the mini miner. I did take a look and see how it was made, or how it works, specifically. Then you put an ore underneath it, give it a bit of fuel, and it'll output to the top. Now what it did here is I put a diamond ore underneath it and it got six diamond from one diamond ore for just the cost of a little coal but then it turned it into stone at which point it started mining cobblestone deep slate and coal from it. Not the best but still uh, sadly does not work with non vanilla ores. So Sirtis Quartz ore and Uraninite ore did nothing. Big sad. However, Diamond Ore did do something, and it's just strictly superior in this case. Look, we'll take some of the coal that it got by itself. Bum. And it starts going to work with its little lasers. Pew, 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 pew. Bonk, 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 bonk. Diamond. Neat, huh? Neat. There's probably a way to automate this. Oh, it broke immediately. Sad. Maybe not worth then after only one diamond. I guess there's a chance to break on each one. If it could consistently do a little bit better than that, I probably would not be sad about it, but it only got one diamond out of that one. So I suppose it's like a slightly higher level of fortune. Well, how we doing? Two more diamonds. Two more diamonds already. Anyway, we'll just let that burn out, and it'll do what it's gonna do. Uh, following that, I think we need to redo this setup. This is all quite slapdash, and I hate it a little. 
but we can start automating uh, automating yes automating these machines because since they want to try to output to the right <clears throat> we can just put some pattern providers down we'll stack them up like this pattern providers on the right and then we'll auto craft for them right <clears throat> seems good and it'll just auto output directly back into the pattern provider and Bob's your uncle free stuff cool coal generator do you also take upgrades probably not right it doesn't have the thingy it's got the little tabs like it'll take the other upgrades but there's no slots for it so presumably it doesn't because that's the only thing it does is unlock more slots it seems to me um, but we're also going to be out of channels on this I did go ahead and add an entangled chest a personalized one with a little diamante on top for our entangled bag which I have linked to this linked bag now it's a now it's a personal bag and instead of all of that interesting stuff being in that bag it's now just our stuff and then there's a uh, import bus which we could put a couple more speed upgrades on uh, I don't remember if there's a stack upgrade for you actually is there fuzzy capacity redstone hmm I don't remember what's better, an acceleration card or a capacity card. I think the capacity card only lets you put like a, a whitelist on the import. So I think the speed cards are just better, generally speaking. Uh, also, our crystal's getting a little full. Well, we can probably take that off the list now. Uh, and that was just so that we could shove stuff in while we're out and about, say mining or something else. Ah, uh, yes, you see, it's turned to stone after that 11th diamond. But it's kind of nice. Yep, nothing left, friend. Nothing to laser. Just burning up the rest of its burnables. Are you still getting something from air? I suspect not, right? One would suspect not. But yeah. So. We'll probably want to change this around. Um, and one of the reasons we'll want to change this around. Although strictly speaking we could pull another cable off one of the other sides. Like this side and then run it down too. Uh, we wouldn't want them to touch. But is this. So we figured out yesterday that since this has a do not push crafting ingredients if inventory contains a pattern input, this means we don't need any of that redstone chisel whistle for this, so far as I can tell, because it'll push the pattern of, let's just say, the hardened ingredients for now. Um, ooh, how do we want to do it? This is probably the best way, but we might turn it a bit. And actually, we're probably going to move all of this, so it'll just be a proof of concept for now, but what'll happen is this will input those two and we can let's just go ahead and do it because we're gonna wanna do it eventually anyway but we'll say hey we're gonna make a pattern not that one anymore to make what was it called again energized steel right and we're gonna say hey if you give me an iron and an, a gold I'm going to output two energized steel. And now that pattern exists. Um, and we can we can actually do probably all of them while we're here. So the blazing crystal, same deal. We're going to use blaze rods specifically. I'm not sure about these, but I guess we'll make the recipe anyway. because they'll exist eventually someday for some reason yes now this one's a little bit trickier but we'll set it up like this for now because of course it'll need a crafting subcomponent for like this okay and that's also fine thank you very much Colin. appreciate that email so this one actually we can just go like this make the pattern and slap it in I don't know this one 
Sure. No problem. Um, and we'll probably have to teach it how to make the redstone one as well, but that, that's neither here nor there. Um, so let's say we want to make one of these. The system will shove the gold and an iron in here, and even if we want to make two or three sets of them, it'll be like, hold on, there's stuff in the input of this, I can't put another one in there yet. At least that's what it should do because it'll see that the input contains ingredients from a crafting pattern and maybe even it'll scan the output as well not sure maybe um, but it'll know that this block has something it put in there and this secretly has an input and an output so it's not like even though they're visually in the same space they're they're separate in the machine you can consider it like the furnace input and output um, and so it'll shove it in and it'll be like okay it's full I can't do another one yet and then it'll finish, get sucked out into this chest, which will then, we'll probably scooch it like here. And I guess if we're going to do it, we might as well do it. Um, and then this would have a, just something pulling it out and shoving it in here, right? Anything that goes into this would get pulled out and shoved back into the provider. And then all we'd have to do is hook it up, which I suppose we can do for now, and I just won't be super thrilled with it, but... <laughs> oh, oh, look at all the temporary stuff that we set up and never put away. Um, okay, R please. Thank you. One rest of pipe. We'll take all the cables, we'll probably need them. Go, 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 go. Let's just pretend, for now, that this is acceptable behavior, even though it's not, and I'm well aware of it. I sort of like the little preview it's got going on. It's nice. Oh my gosh, bouncy shoes, why are you like this? I got just barely enough. Okay, now it's hideous. Don't look at it. But this now exists. <clears throat> and so this knows to connect those. So if we were to come in here and go like, hey, Pawa, I would like one of these. Uh, we'll need more blaze rods, which is fine. Boop. Let's stack a blazy rods, because of course those will need to exist in the first place, but we'll say we want one of these. And it knows that it needs to make one of these, transform it into this, from these. Now we should be able to just go like that, and it's blasting. power. That's possible. But it's doing it. Like, the second it's done, the next one goes in and it's blasting. And we just might not have enough power to sustain it. And it's still making them, even though these aren't coming back in. A wireless terminal would probably be nice. Um... Fluid pipes, item pipes. What are they called? Revolution. Rev, re, revol, revolution. Why do you not clear? Is it you that's doing it? Industrial revolution. What were your cool pipes called? There's still pipes. Okay. What's going on with these now? Hold on, what's up with this now? I'm not sure what's going on with these pinned ones. I hate it. I'm very confused. Something has happened here, and I don't know what it is. Uh, but we'll ignore that for now. And we'll look for a servo. Output servo. One, please. Thank. 
happen then? Whoop. My bouncy shoes didn't make us do it this time. That's a small problem. Hold on, wait, this worked on it, if I recall. Ah, uh, bless. And so now, those will be sucked out and returned into the pattern provider. And now that crafting process is complete. It did it. And we should have one block of blazing crystal. Amazing! We just automated all of the power stuff. That is to say, the power... Ow, ow, my innards. Also my outards. And we've got some more blazing crystal. Nido, Nido Bandido. I do not want to leave it like this. Not like this. Um, we're starting to run into inventory problems, so our woes compound. Yes? Good heavens. It's very rainy outside, despite living in the Red Rock Valley. So, we can expand our storage a little bit. I'd like to move our storage a little bit. I'd also like to move all of our storage downstairs, relocate the power generation, and move all of this to this wall. And I think that's what we'll be doing today, even though it's extremely boring. It needs to happen. We can also talk about what we're going to do in future. Because, like, automating resource generation sounds like a great idea. And it can be as simple as having a cobblestone generator going into a pulverizer um, and making that whole loop-de-loop -loop of the gravel, sand, what have you, right? That whole chestnut. But we might bust this down for now and just scooch it. I also want to see how far we have to the wall here. Okay, so this is one, two, actually, before our wall. And this is one, and then two. And I might replace this wall with cobble. I'm not sure. I just want it to be basically the same. Um, that being said, we have a lot of shenanigans going on as far as all of this is concerned. And I'm not sure that this is where we permanently want the home for the, um, the elevator. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the inner dimension of our current house. So we'll just make a little basement for it. And we'll make it sort of similar. Because, like, wouldn't this be much better? I don't know. Not here. Probably. We could leave this up here. This is still a manual process. I think you need to have the extractinator in order to have it automated. And this you just feed stuff into and then it pops other resources out depending on what you shove into it. Down in underground cabins, look for large wooden structures and caves. Okay. In either the overworld at a very low chance quite low or the mining dimension at slightly better chances like at Y25 appears to be your best bet overall with a point zero 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 four percent chance of existing <laughs> but you can just find them you can just find them. And then you can just make resources. Which is something we're interested in doing. What I want to do the most, though, is these. I want to make the elementius, tiltilius seeds. Um, but these are, as previously discussed, incredibly expensive and hard to find. The deep slate doesn't have any of its ore generation 
So maybe it's more common, but we don't know where it is. But the ore itself, our best chance is at like Y20-ish with a 0 0.04. Not great, but not that bad. But considering how many we need, outrageous. And let's just double the chance of the mining dimension. So the mining dimension is strictly worse than the overworld generation. Yeah. And so we just got a mine. Um, but that's where uh, that's where all this comes in. That's where all of our storage expansion and stuff comes in. And like, look at this copper. We have so much copper, and we just don't need it. That's why it'd be really nice if we had void upgrades. But we'll have to figure that out, I guess. But also, look how much magic stuff we've got. Oh my gosh. Getting ender pearls? A desert creeper spawn egg? Tarantula spawn eggs? Zombie villagers? Nice, we can just cure a ton of zombie villagers from our zombie villager spawner. And then with any luck, if we kill enough villagers, we'll get a villager spawn egg. That would be hilarious. We can probably just get rid of all of this stuff. Oh wait, you had, um... No, that's mine. Because I'm holding shift. So it compares. But yeah, there's enchantments and all sorts of stuff. We also got some scissors that we are advised to not run with. Uh, do we have a trashy can? Should we drag? Oh, I don't actually want to toss that out. You could repair this stuff, presumably, and smelt it down into ingots. But it's not really worth... It's not even really worth the time to throw it out. But there you go. Here, I have some terracotta and a goober foo. Okay, thank goodness we still have two spots left. But yeah, we're getting pretty rough. We're getting pretty rough on the old storage. So I think we're going to move all of the storage down, including production. I don't know if we want any more plants than this as well. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes, hello? Skeleton near my house? And I don't think this works. Hey, I don't suppose... No. I don't think I can un uncraft the... Oh, I can if I really wanted. That's okay. We'll toss this stuff out as well. Because we don't eat anymore. We don't need it. Nutritious as it may be, we do not require such things. Good. I also want to adventure some more. Oh, hey. Finally. Can we get some apples on the make? Look at all these hearts we've got. What do you need? Right, an amethyst apple, which is made with just the block of amethyst and an apple, which we should have a good number of. Do we want to make like 10 of these? Amethyst. Apple. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh my gosh. And then, is it shapeless? It is. Now we've got some red crystals. The tricky bit is you have to make them into this with the canisters. But that's just iron and bones. Which we should have a plethora of. Speaking of iron? Uh, we don't even really need to use this one yet. I think we still have tons of iron in here. Iron. Tons of iron. Have some iron. Oh, look, iron. We'll chuck it in there to make even more iron. Speaking of, the next level of furnace, what do you need? You needed um, the end furnace, right? Because we have the emerald furnace. We need a shulker shell, ender pearls, and rods, and end stone bricks. Relatively easy to do. Because we can go to the end now. Um... But, 
What we don't have is a convenient way to stay flying. Do you want to look at a jetpack? Some variety of jetpack? Do we want to make a wooden jetpack, lol? Is there? Yeah, there's a jetpack quest. Look, basic coil. That's what it starts with. And we can even auto-craft some of this stuff, potentially. Wouldn't that be nice? Although we'd have to expand once again our storage and everything. So a basic coil is one of these. That's a quest, so we might as well. Uh, yes, reward loot crate. We'll need a leather strap. I think you only ever need one of these. Thrusters and capacitors. Hold on, move. Move, move. Uh, to make a wood jetpack, you need two wood thrusters, which needs wood energy cells. Okay, look, we'll get back to this. We'll keep it in our inventory. We want to make one of these, but let's one thing at a time, right? Uh, with you, hold on. Uses. Canisters. Ten of them. Like, we might as well do this at least. And then it was this, right? Bonk, bonk, bonk. Now you've got some canisters. Now. Those can be bonked into the orange ones. And we do have a couple orange ones. But do we need specifically the belt in order to have more health? Because I don't want to give up my Sojourner Sash. Which I like very much. This has like a heart slot. Left shift plus right click to open. Equipable in the belt trinket slot. Red heart crystal. Okay, let's try to make one more red heart crystal and see if the crystals alone stack in the heart slot pot. I don't know. Let's just try to put it there. Okay, no. Sure enough. Oh, we'll need one rib. Thank. We'll need one amethyst and an apple. Why, you like this? Please deselect. Oh my god. And with this apple. Oh, right. We'll do it this way. We might have to go back and get some more uh, apple. Apple. Did you not store them in there? Oh, what have I done? Stop. Hammer time. Apples. Twigs. Overweight apple. We have to bonk this with our, um... Beautiful. Oh my god. An overweight apple stem. I wonder if I can... Can I grow this into a giga apple tree? Plant this whole apple and it becomes just like an enormous tree. Anyway, where were we? And with this apple. I do need one of them. Alright, it's on the it's on the thingy. Right, right, right. Nothing goes in there. We got two orange hearts. So they go like this? No. Hold on. Those have to be something else. Oh my lord. Shroom lights. Also, we need one of these to make the canister belt at all. How much do we care about extra health versus running fast? Running fast is just the greatest utility known to man. And step assist and jump, jumpy boost. It's just better. But hearts. What a cruel mod pack forcing us to choose. We'll make one. Oh, I made it with a... 
Well, I guess it doesn't specifically need. Okay, great. Never mind. And I just sort of assume it'll only let us do 10, but I don't know. 10 is classically the maximum. Hey, can we put you in the... What is this heart slot even for? Gosh, it should be nice if it told us what it was. Okay, so that's the back. Got like a crown slot, head hat slot, a face slot. And then of course this is the um, cosmetic slot. There, found it. I don't know what this is. Charm, maybe? Or a metal. And then there's the cape. This is the necklace. Body. Back. Unsure. Belt. Feet and aglet. Hand. Shield. Ring. Ring. Hand. Something. Harto. Necklace. Trinket slot. I don't know what the trinket slots are. Okay, here's what they're called. Crown shoes glove pin. It's a pin. Okay. A pin trinket slot. Pin. We're gonna get all that pink. I wonder if it's just a generic. Oh wait, hold on. Radiance pin. Puts lights well in the dark. A gleaming pin. Reveals nearby mobs when hit. Okay, cool. So there are a couple pins. Along with lots of pink stuff. Prevents spawning of phantoms. Bless. Sleeping fully heals. Nice. Spectrum, bro. We need to get into that. But look, we can't have... It's gotta be... Oh, now we have more hearts, but... At what cost? Oh. Oh. I do like how, how it just gives it to us and then takes it away. I, I guess we'll keep it in here for now. Let's just chuck these in here. Let's not mess with them too much for now. Loot crates, be gone. Well, alright. That is the thing that is happening. Now, do we want to change this at all? And I think the answer is yes. I still like the idea of basically right here being the crafting terminal. Maybe right here, just so it's level with our face and maybe we'll have our drives right here. That sort of breaks everything for now, but bear with me. That's right. We're gonna put our drives on our drive. We're gonna we're gonna examine our own drives. Okay, right? But hold on, there's more. Cause that's right here now. So like Right here is our front door, that corner. Sure. Hmm, I don't like that very much. We can fill that in and that's fine. Can we though? Can we though? Hey bud. Just down in the rat tunnels. OMG, OMG.
probably have to re fill this stuff in with something more appropriate. For now, this will do. Great. And we'll fix it after. Okay, cool. Uh, we're not super worried about the basement anyway. It's the basement. Ah, oh, the noise of shattering. Okay, good. So, instead of that, that's our drive. Okay, it'll be, it'll feel a little cramped for a minute, but now do we want it backwards? Like some sort of weird thing like that. That's probably fine, right? Right. And we still don't know if this is actually considered a cabinet, right? This cabinet manager. We're still not sure it's a cabinet. Or rather an inventory. I want to I wanna incorporate the cabinets. Because I think they're neat and they work pretty well. But it may be a separate issue of um, storage. We can still go like that. We can still have this right there, and it'll exist like that for the moment. Okay, and we'll come back over here. We know this is considered an inventory, so we can take that without any concern. We can grab all these, because they're empty. And now we have drawers. right? It's a little awkward like this, isn't it? Maybe we do want it on the bottom and that's fine. It is a little awkward like this. This would have to be in the front instead, but that's fine, right? It does make this a bit worse. Because if it did work as an inventory, this would be fine, but if it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. But if it doesn't work like that, we can then just put another storage bus like right here, move it to right here, and then have cabinets be in like these five slots, and that's fine. Sure, we'll try that. Meanwhile, that's that. And now it's just moving chests, which of course we're going to do with cardboard boxes. Because otherwise, oh my gosh, can you even imagine? Okay, we're still going to sort of do it one at a time, though. Uh, and these still need to be not here, because we need to have inventories connected to one another. So, this is the top one, this is the bottom one. Bonk, and bonk. Great, it's fine. Let's just do them like this. Top one. Bottom one. OMG, they are on fire. That is an ideal. Turns out, 
Made of wood. Okay, duly noted. Top one, bottom one. Let's move some lava, shall we? Now, do we have a way to get rid of lava easily? Mm, we have a couple tanks, actually. And we're going to reuse the lava, so we don't really want to get rid of it, even though we have basically an infinite lava supply. Let's put lava in here. Sure. And we are now currently making no more lava. Which is fine for now. We might lose power, and that's okay. Uh, we're going to move all of this anyway. Probably to like over there, just the other side. Because this will be storage. And we don't want lava next to it. That's all. Literally just rotate it to this side. Depending on how much space we want. But we also know this much lava is capable of supporting these many of these thingies. And we might want to upgrade our power system while we're at it. Here, you can have a light though. Have a light. Sure, meanwhile. We'll move those after. Top one. And why I'm getting the top one first? Couldn't tell you. Just, just how it is. You lot are empty. Great. One more. One more for now. And I don't know if it would matter if we're putting them bouncy shoes on the right side or not. Ultimately, we'll probably have to uh, empty them anyway. Oh dear. They didn't stack. Boo! I don't think it matters. I'm sure it's fine. Because um, we're going we're gonna to break these down and turn them into obsidian ones anyway. And then, theoretically, eventually those will become the other types as well. Words and phrases. Ooh, we're not as tall in here though. Oh, uh, I don't know if it matters. We can move the drawers to the end, which may actually be better. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter, because it's still a connected inventory, so this will still flow through it looking for inventories. So we can then take this back out, put that back in, and drawers of all your various what have you. C cool, cool. As our system dies. Okay, no problem, no problem. So let's sort of just generically decide. We'll have storage. 
Maybe three spaces and then auto crafting for five spaces and then one, two, three spaces. Thank you, light. I'm just sort of arbitrarily deciding as well that. Storage, walkway, auto crafting, three, four, five, walkway, and then power. And so the power would be not sure yet. But let's give it like six spots. Because it is something that we'll have to expand. Whoops. And also, that's fine. For now, I'm not sure how much lava production we'll need. Let's assume we'll have the one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So one, two. Channel lava production? Question mark. And I think there was 11 of them. 13? 13. 13 of them. That's the right number. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm, oh my dear goody aunt. Let's scoot you guys over. On the plus side, looks like they've kept their lava inventory. That's quite nice. What am I actually thinking here? Okay, I have an idea. We're making it up on the fly. Now let's assume we had another row of these right here. Uh, can we do this yet? Yes, we can do some of this now. I'll need you. And you, and you, and you. And we're going down, oh. All right, regular terracotta. You didn't have a home in there, but now you do. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Bouncy shoes. Okay, so... How do we want it? I'm not sure I like that, but that will do for now. Uh, it actually doesn't need to be that chopped out. Because it'll literally be there. I pulled all these up intending to upgrade them, and we have not yet. I guess we'll have to pull them up again. We're gonna need to make some more anyway, so that's fine. Uh, do I have you? I do. Oh, wait. Construction mode. No? I see. 
Uh, it's fine. We'll fix it after, as, as, as we were saying, saying before. Uh, here, have a light. And another one. Okay, so if we can make a few more power cables. These will still go here. This will still go here. This will still go on top of it. But this will probably now go Sinkla. Here. here Put the crafting terminal here uh, we can probably still make this here I'm not sure about you yet we'll figure it out I guess we can put it here for now well that's extremely awkward or whatever but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out um, We'll leave all this nonsense here for just the moment. We can pick these up. It's more important for now to just have it hooked up at all. Okay. Power. The A system lives once more. What were you guys? Blank patterns? Right, you're in the pattern encoding terminal. Cool. Uh, this is our main storage of power. Which will now move probably here. And that's fine. Eh, they can all be in and out. I don't care about that too much. Cobblestone generator. Right, right. Access lava. Right, right. Uh, I suppose we'll put you at this end now. Plonk. Uh, yeah. Because we'll have this come out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right? And then this will become lava. Uh, let's just use the two. It's a bit of bit of back and forth, but it's fine. Good. I was like, I'm not sure you keep your inventory, actually, but it does, it seems. Oh my god, the shuffling. And finally, that one. Warp. Maybe? We probably don't need to have this here. It just exists for now, for some reason. I'm doing this the wrong way. How do I want this? What do we want to spend the most of? Also, do we still want to even use these fluid pipes? Question mark. I think the answer to that quandary is no. Uh, you technically should have power. Device online, offline. 
Oh, you're not hooked up. I forgot a cable. You'll need a cable to have power. Understanding comes. We understand. Okay, once more we have access to all of the things. Praise be. Uh, except for the wood and stuff, which we don't have down there yet. Much tidier. Much tidier. Here, you can have these. Uh, pipe. We want to use these instead. Just these. The regular, regular these. Why are you like this? Look how cheap. So cheap. Uh, we'll need another servo. I actually need a lot of servos, but again, these servos are extremely cheap. Servo. Okay. Curses. Okay, oh, here you can have this. Uh, that was 14. Well, we'll figure it out when we're down there. Because as much as I like seeing the lava flowing through the tubes and stuff, I don't want to see the lava flowing through the tubes and stuff. Great. But see, this is wrong. That's already wrong, right? What? Okay. Um, because we'll have to move it over. We did a little whoopsie. If we're going to have a line of these here, where do we put the draw out for the lava? We could put it on this side for now, but ultimately we'll want it to exist here. So it actually goes where those are. No, don't burn! Not that it matters too much. But I'd rather it didn't burn. Did I just screw that up? Answer, yes. Is this, is this wildly ill-advised? Ill Are we going to lose some of our crucibles when we go to pick them up? Because our magnet isn't very strong and we're just being lazy. And this is taking more time as well. Just doing it this way. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sort of committed now though. Look, we totally made it. And now... We didn't even lose them, no problem, lol. And then... That's the wrong one. Again, not that it matters at all, but... Oh, this is wrong too, look. Because this will then have the inputs from both sides for one of them. I'm so dumb. I want it to be cool. I'm not even sure I want to upscale the magmators as much as well. That's fine. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Footsteps. Many feet steps. Okay, and uh, now. We can maybe have done it from down there. But now we'll want. item pipes. 
question mark. Uh, we we'll also want some more cables. Ooh, these are actually... Wait. Is it the Revolution ones? It is Revolution ones. So the cables are not as good. Or are these the only ones? Because I specifically need the sheets. Uh, it is something we're going to automate anyway. Also, do we want any of the automation up here? Typically, I do like one string of sort of manual use machines up here. Do we put away our liquid infuser? Man, good question. Maybe we don't even want to use these machines at all. I mean, we'll definitely use these for automation because it'll work well. But I don't know about for like our main ones. Gosh, who knows. Let's not worry about it too much for now. We're, that's enough. Wait, we need one more servo. We're trying to do a lot of things. Servo. We'll need some more. Iron nugs, was it? Iron nugs. Yeah, I have another stackish of iron nugs. Servo. Huh. Oh yeah, pipes. Alright, we'll get back to that in a second. I just put all the pipes away foolishly. Uh I have Because I don't think these... Oh, hey, I was intending to see if they... No, they don't share the same. Because these are quite thin, right? So I was thinking maybe they... Uh, worked like the Ender I.O. post, maybe? Shared the same uh, physical space? Oh, we forgot our cobblestone generator. No, it's over here. It's fine. Gah. I'm stuck in the machine. Oh, this is going to be... Oh. It's loud. wasn't too bad. And we'll just be like, hey. Look. It doesn't go through the pipes at all. It's just as soon as it exists, shoves her in. As much as possible right away. And we probably don't need a Mark V here, frankly. But we got it from that thing, so I just we're, we're using it. And this is what we'll need cobblestone the most. But anyway, we're making lava again. Nice. And we're making power again. Nice. Uh, let's see if it is down here. Can we find it down here? What's it called? Pipe. Yeah. Fluid transfer pipe. Fluid pipes. Uh, which presumably would run along the top here for however many of these we have. And now this is making power again. Great. 14 FE tick. Amazing. Oh. I spaced this terribly. I'm bad at games. Because if we want a row of these and then a row of these over here, just like we have this one, this will have to go even further beyond. I'm not. I'm going to do that at a different time. We'll face that problem in the future. Uh, for now, it's remade and it exists and it's ready for expansion. Great! Now this needs a new home. Yes. Um, and where do we want the main channel for this to be? Auto crafting is going to take up a lot of Bandwidth. We can do a heavy cable off of there to wherever we put it. That will be fine. For now. One, two, three. Can we get to here? We can just get to here. Have yourself 
uh, one of those. And I think it doesn't matter how it goes through here. Just that it does. Checkerboard pattern. Enjoy a rest of pipe in no particular order. Oops, we shoved it into the system. It's full. We've shoved it in. That's how it goes. Pattern. Blazing crystal. Sure, that's probably right. Uh, it's in ideal. Whatever. It's fine. We'll find him eventually. So that exists. This can now move. Okay, we need the happy convergence of power and cable. Ah, yeah, yeah. What have I did? Oh, right, this is the one from the chest, the import from the chest, that's fine. We can put it here. We can fix it after. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so here is the middle, strictly speaking. Now we can move these. I'm so upset about these being like this. The fact that they don't stack is just such a ball ache, really. And we make a mess again. That's okay, though. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, this is actually perfectly right. over um over um here it doesn't really matter how they go in but it's better if you have a certain number of oh no not that one either oh lord we've mixed and matched we were careless the pattern pattern the most important pattern it really doesn't matter how it goes in here otherwise but I just like to group them together by certain types uh, you can have the seeds and this one, actually. There. Sure. Something like that. Right? And now you go to this again. Right? Well, this goes to this, where that's actually going to be. And maybe I'll take that out, actually. Let's put a chest in here. Doesn't matter what kind. We like Skystone for some reason. That will still go like that. 
We'll get some item pipes. We'll do it like that instead. Have a servo. Now anything that's made in there will be shoved into there. And we'll actually push this over like that. This came from someplace. Uh, the import, probably. Okay, we're a little bit further along. No. I crouched to stop from jumping. But I was already upstairs. Okay, can we get some plates? Will you have enough power? You do shove them over, and that is really annoying. But it'll be less annoying later. Because I, I don't like the shoving, but the shoving is great for the auto-crafting, right? So if you use these as auto-crafting machines, but not necessarily for our personal use machines, which we'll have upstairs, it'll be fine. And in fact, preferable, because we'll just have these standing in a line, and they'll auto-shove directly back into the pattern providers that ask them for things. And that seems really good. Uh, it'll take a second for now, though. Uh, more power cable, please. Here. There you go. Thanks. And it's always a bit of a ball ache where you tear up the base, but it'll be so much better when we're done. It'll be better when we're done. Okay, good. So now this exists once more. It's tied into both systems. Relatively cleanly. The auto crafting now exists as a thing. Our floor is prettier. Our space is better. Our storage isn't next to the lava. <laughs> Massive improvements, right? So now we just gotta fix the rest of the upstairs and stuff. Here, have some light. Um, and we might move these and maybe some of this other stuff, but that's all in future. For now, we can start maybe auto crafting some of this. Uh, this can actually go here. We can have this be up here. And look, now it's a dump chest because we can just slap this right on top. Bonk. And with that being said, maybe this will feel better. Like that. And maybe we'll move the enco encoding terminal over. Actually, that's a great idea. Oh, that was in the crafting thing, actually. Oh, if only I used a wrench. Import bus. Oh, sorry, import bus. Acceleration card. Uh, crafting terminal will go here. Encoding terminal will go here. Access terminal will go above the encoding terminal. Huh? I hate it. That's fine. That's fine. Don't look at it. Don't look at it, chat. Uh, we'll need to move all of these. Let's see if it just works generically when we slap it down there. It might, but it might not. like this but it might not work like this but I think it will work like this and you can have this uh, this this and this you can have this you can have this I think it was this one. I don't know if it matters at all, actually. Yeah, sure, why not? And this should still theoretically work, because they should still be attached through this. Um, ooh, these might be their own inventories, though. How does that work? I'm trying to remember how many channels it takes. Where's our smart cable? We do have some smart cable. Let's replace this one here with a smart cable. Oh, 
I don't know if it is working. Because it's only got three connections right now. But maybe it's just this one, this one, and this one are considered inventories, and these are not. Which would be good. In which case it is working. And if it's passing through this to find this inventory, then it's fine. And these aren't inventories? Question mark? Well, we'll give it a whirl and we'll find out, won't we? Oh, that's interesting. I was like, it's got a little overlap of its fanciness. Well, good, good, good. Yes, good, good. We'll probably want to move our elevator as well. Here, we're just gonna... Here, you can have these, actually. Let's do that first. Good, 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 good. We'll chuck our other junk back in here. You can have that, and this, and that, and this, and this. Great, we'll put that away, put those away. We'll chuck some light gray terracotta on the ground. Actually, it'll just go back in our inventory, won't it? Right. Okay, that's fine. Light gray terracotta can go in there, I suppose. Oh my gosh, we're super duper torn up. Oh, and we haven't taken our break either. All right, chat, let's take our quick break. And then we'll come back and then we'll see about automating these lads. Hmm, huh? that might be nice. And then we might, uh, I've got some new machines to put here. Manual machines, maybe from a different mod. We'll figure it out. But right now, let's take a quick little breaky break. Whoosh.
Okay, chat, we're back. We're back. Hope everyone had a good stretch, good doge pet, a good beverage refill. Let's see. Is there anything else we want there down there right now? We can basically retire the coal generator. I also don't think we need the storage anymore. Probably. Although it was filling up an inventory. But these will need to come down. <laughs> They're so huge. They're enormous in the world. Uh, those will need to move downstairs, but that's neither here nor there for now. Crafting monitor? I think this does need to be on the PC. I keep I keep wanting to go like right here to go downstairs. Where's this? Can we install it here? Will this feel fine if we put it here? Is that okay? Seems okay to me. to get some of that light, light gray stuff in a second. Great. Have an elevator and an elevator. Whomph. Whomph. Nice. Much better. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, our power. Ooh, hey, give me this right quick. Thank. That does need to exist on our line someplace. Where do we want it? Where would we like it? Can it be here? Does I need a spot for the antennae? That's a bit of a... Eh, who cares? And this will actually get power first. That's fine. I don't hate it. I hate this a little bit. That's fine. That's fine, right? That's that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. So how do we want to set up this auto crafting? Do we want it set up in like a line, or do we want it along the wall? Oh look, we actually filled up our space. It's full. <sighs> Or is it? Hey, go in there. There's something just very satisfying about sorting drawers. This is awful. Can I convert you into blocks by chance? By chance. Will you go into raw copper blocks? That would be great. It does. Praise be. Oh, I won't do it as a mask, though. Can I? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That's a thing that happened there, for sure. Iron dust. Uh, probably don't need these iron or even rose gold things anymore. Say, where did our crafting CPU go? Do we remember what happened to that? Have a light gray terracotta. And another one. Infuser, compressor, pulverizer, furnace. Because um, I'm inclined to sort of slap these down, just sort of... Mm, it's a bit troublesome. They'll need power. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, or is it? Not like this. This won't work. This will work. And then like... Oops. 
I suppose uh, I can be fitting me no, there. It's fine. I suppose this will work, right? Because the things need to be the right, to the right. Say, where did our crafting PC parts go? Did we not pick them up? Oh my god, the shuffling, the shuffling, the sh shuffling. I am noticing a distinct lack of... Oh god, we've fallen in. There it is. 4K crafting. Because uh, that's another thing we're going to want to try to get auto crafting much sooner rather than later. Is all of those things. There's the fluid infuser. Get that going in a second. No bounce, please. No bounce. No bounce. Okay, let's assume that you knew how to do... How many more channels do we have? Plenty, right? Tons. Tons more channels. But we're going to use some of that very soon. How smart is it? How dumb is it? We'll just fix it. If it's bad and doesn't work, we'll just fix it. No. No. That also won't work. Right? So now these are performing double duty. Presuming we have enough channels. But... This one would now have the patterns for... Oh, let's actually just go slap. Uh, yeah, it's probably fine. No, it still needs the processor next to it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Molor. Hello. That's a fun name. Am I saying that right? Molol. I'm enjoying it though. Hello. I think actually what we should be doing is running a cable all the way down. And doing the auto crafting starting on this side and then the power stuff starting on this side. Rather than trying to intermingle them like this. That's perhaps sort of a bad design in the first place. Either way, we'll need two more pattern providers. Let's see if we can make them. Let's see if it works at all. Pattern. Providers. Can we get two of them? We're missing some stuff and some stuff. Some wood. It's an interesting mod pack. It's pretty new, which is nice. Oh yeah, we have all of our stuff over here now. 
or rather our wood we didn't incorporate it into the system downstairs uh, a plate energistics by itself is complex it will add complexity to any mod pack okay let's make a little bit more of the stuff flux crystal will you go ahead and uh, we have our thing on us don't we oh we don't need that we just need the inscriber which we can slap temporarily here have two of these bump bump and it shoved it into the system it shoved it in okay, we'll take those back so it's in here someplace but if we want to auto craft we need to do it from here huh pattern providers so there they are two of them question mark no crafting CPUs are available oh god we didn't set it up oh god we'll put it here for now just for now that's where it'll go <laughs> and we'll move it again after oh uh, okay begin it's making them it's made them incredible it is kind of nice to just glance down and see what it's working on okay great so we now have the pattern providers for these once again And let's say we have these as well. Do we like it like this? Not really. I kind of hate it. And you get... Dusts? No, you also get the dusts. Because that's how we make the dusts in the first place. Oh hey. Thanks for that. Um, but this is how we make these seeds go into this one. You go in there, and you go in there. Great. And that'll make those. Theoretically, this will work. How many channels have we taken up now? Okay, quite a few. And actually, we might be over. Because uh, we have three, one, two, three. Oh, that's actually exactly eight, I think. And we can test it by actually removing these. And then... Oh, come on, you're not gonna do me like this, are ya? Let's do one else like this. Well, the tooltips is 8 of 8 channels, so I guess it's fine. I'd like to see it as well, but it's fine. 8 of 8 channels. So this is now full until we make a, a thicker cable. We'll make a trunk cable that'll come down. Because strictly speaking, each of these sides supports 16, I think. How many is it? Good question. Let's look at the dense cable. Dense. Flux dense cable. Dense covered cable. Which is just dense cable. Interesting. It does seem to have a regular. But these are uh, these are all colored, colored cable. So it does have to be covered cable in order to make it dense. Got it. So we just need a bunch of wool. It's expensive, but that's okay. And that makes dense covered cable. Right, right, right. And then we can make that into smart cable. And technically, okay, so it is 32 channels that the dense ca copper cable, or um, smart cable has. So we'd run a dense cable off of each side for 32 channels, and it would run all the way down here, and we'd have a couple branches for each of these. But for the moment, this is sufficient. And at least our tooltip tells us 8 of 8 channels. So we can't add any more auto-crafting onto this particular line. 
but we've included our pulverizer furnace compressor and solid infuser and we can test it by giving our compressor well here have an upgrade have an upgrade have an upgrade I have an upgrade great oh there's this also sort button okay great that's probably what I was doing there um, but it'll get a little bit complicated because these only have so many slots and so if you want to do anything because I feel like the pulverizer will get used a fair amount but maybe not as much as the compressor the furnace will get used a fair amount but probably not as much as the infuser maybe this is fine We'll do it this way until we run out of channels or slots and it'll be fine. And so the first thing we'll probably need to teach it is a gold one, gold plate. Let's say we have a gold plate from industrial revolution in the compressing machine. And we'll teach it. If you send it a gold, it'll make a gold plate. Huh. Bouncy shoes, not like this. So now the compressor is adjacent to this. Uh, that's probably fine. It only has so much inventory and it'll work on all of it. So it'll say, hey, if I give a gold to one of these, well, we'll test it. Because if it grinds the gold <laughs> into gold powder and then shoves it back in, we'll know this won't work. But hopefully it's smart enough to know which machine does it. And it was fast. Before we could even get down here. Nope, it's still working. It's trying to make the gold plate, but it doesn't know. I don't think it knows. Because it sent it to here. But I think it doesn't know where to put it. Either that or the sightedness for these machines is not the same. Because what if it only outputs to the le to the right, inputs from the left? Oh, that would be so annoying. But right now it's not sure how to do it. What if we get rid of this? Do you know then? Probably not. We'll cancel the craft for now. Ouch. Ooh, fetch my bones. Because now, the only thing next to this is this. So it should try to shove it in there. Unless this machine does not accept from the right. In which case, we'll need to change the setup a bit. One gold plate, please. It's working on it. Bouncy feet! Okay, so I would assume that this means the machine does not take from the right. <clears throat> Output only, as it were. Okay, so immediately this is no good and we'll have to change it up. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. So it won't work how we were initially thinking it would work. But it might work in a disgusting, huge, long conglomeration of things. Whoop. An example.
Oh, well, these don't have any power anyway. I mean, they have their internal power, so it should still have worked a bit. Here, have a... Have one of these as well. So this will output to this, right? If we manually give it a gold. If we manually give you a gold, you will make it into a plate for the cost of some NRG and shove it into the chest, regardless of whether we want that or not. But what's your input side? Let's see if this is the input side. That is. Okay, so it will successfully take it from there. And it will make it, but it won't go back into the system yet because it's going to output over here. Okay, so how do we want to handle that? This is so complicated. I'm not sure if I even want to use these machines anymore. I wonder if it'll input from the back. It definitely inputs from the left. And it outputs to the right. So now this chest is immediately filled with gold plate, which in our inventory becomes gold plate. <laughs> sure. And we'll cancel this because it won't get that gold plate back. Because it's easy enough to just import off of um, these chests. But I don't like the shape. We tried this the first time, right? And it didn't work. It only inputs from this side. Oh my god, the tragedy. I don't think there's a tidy way to make this. I think it's just going to be huge and hideous and we'll just have to deal with it. Which makes me sad. Because we'll have to do something like this. Hold on. Pulverizer furnace. I don't remember what order we had it in. Because this should theoretically work. Although again, it'll only leave it in the chests for now. But then we can just use anything that'll pull it out of here and shove them back into here and it'll be fine. Like item pipes. What are they called? Yeah, item pipes. Item pipes. Oh my gosh, there's only one left. Item pipes. Um Shaders reloaded. Okay, very good. Thanks. There's... We can try the retriever. Why are you like this? Retriever. Use your eyes. Use your eyes to observe the retriever with... 
Do you do the thing? No, you don't do the thing. Wait. No, that was the wrong one. Okay, that one let me do it. That's fine. For whatever reason, that system just sometimes doesn't want to do it, and that's okay. Uh, and we'll take these, and we'll just... We'll go like that, and we'll remove this connection and this connection. And we'll just say, hey, give me everything you got. And actually, we can remove that connection as well. Presuming this works, this will pull from all of these inventories into this system. We can test that first by giving it a gold. It makes a gold plate, goes into the thing, and it's gone. So there should now be a gold plate in here. One gold plate. And if we make another one, it should be bonk bonk bonking through the machine right now. It should be done. It should be done by now. My dismay. Ouch. Why you know? Are you not smart enough? Are you not smart enough to know which machine is which? It isn't. Oh no, it gave it to the wrong machine. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a problem as well. Okay, that's fine. We'll start to encroach on this territory a little, but that's fine. It's not fine, because it'll, it'll cost more channels, because each one of these will be a channel. But each one of those will also have its own machine. It was pulled back. And it's done. Okay, so like, generally speaking, it works. It's not great. But it does work. Acceleration cards? What were you for? Oh, you were for these. Here you can have those, and then you can have these. Great. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. So what it'll have to be instead is something along these lines. One thing per machine. Sag. What do you need the most right now? The compressor for sure needs the most. And then you can still have this recipe and whatever else we figure out. And then you'll still need to come back over here. And we'll still need to remove this connection, because we don't want it flowing back into the machine in case it can. And we can still give you the retriever. So we still only need one line of pipes. because it'll still work for however many we have. But we'll still need a provider for each machine, which is fine. Ultimately, we'd probably have to do that anyway, just because of the sheer number of patterns we'll need. It's just a little bit annoying. And it's just because of how the machines work, and it's fine. Pulverizer. Furnace. Have your upgrades again. 
And then theoretically, never again will we have this particular problem. Theoretically. Let me get that other servo. Not from here, though. Huh. Thought we had two. Well, we'll make another. They're still relatively inexpensive. Bonk. Well, it sort of works. And either way, we're going to try to upscale pretty much everything. We'll have to have several trunks coming off of this main trunk. That being the case, we'll need to be able to automate all of those. So let's start on that process now. Cable. We can't automate it yet. So, the recipe pipe for cable is these. But we also need these. And we need more patterns. Patterns. Great. So now we have a pattern for quartz fiber. Let's see, where can we put them? Sure, you can have them. That's fine. So now we should be able to make cables. Regardless of however many we make, it'll just be like, hey, we need more of this. And theoretically, it knows how to make this. We just don't have the regions for it. Right? Do we know how to make this? I don't remember if we did. Yeah. We need a Fluix Crystal to make more Fluix Dust, but we're using Fluix Crystals. So this is a bit of a circular problem. In that it knows we have some, but it knows we need it for these but it also needs them for the cables. It's needed in multiple places. And I don't know if there's a priority system we can use say, hey, make, make the dust before we make these crystals because the dust can become more crystals. That's also just potentially a problem. Of course, if I come down here to use the inscriber to turn them into dust, it's all going to go back up into the system anyway. <laughs> Maybe a wireless card is it? Oh. And we used up all of our power in that process. Oh my goodness. we're going to run into some power problems. More crystals. You watch, 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 watch. Soon now. Ah, into the system. Why did I wait? Right? We'll use the rest of our sand once again. As it loses power, because we don't have enough power. This is all for the sake of itself. You can do it. You can do it, system. I wonder if this this needs to be a higher category now. If this is using inburst more than passive drain. 
2.41. I also don't know however many EEs the tick is that many. Huh? Huh? No. Yes. Bouncy feet for the win on that time. Okay, great. 38. 38 more seeds times two. Many seeds. Bouncy feet. Grom up. Now this seems to be okay. Sixty some odd a tick. How much are we producing? These are only what four each. Yeah, four each. Terrible. However, we can upgrade them to the hardened tier now, which would be 10 each, which would be significantly improved. We basically don't have enough time for that, but maybe we'll do one, and then maybe I can maybe do some off-camera for the others. Pawa. Because, let's see, a magmator hardened. We should make a recipe for these. We don't have it yet, though. And then it'll need the hardened capacitors as well. It does make two each, so that's nice. So now we're missing only the magmator itself. Oh my goodness. We will start with this one. Mm. Please enjoy. Magmator hardened. Plonk. And you should be producing Tenefia tick. Great. So this is still superior for the moment in the same category, but I bet you that will change relatively quickly, because, like, let's see. Ten versus five but this five is 280 percent so that equals our 14 and here's 10 for the next one versus 40. so actually by the time we get to the blazing tier the magmator is better i think because that's 28 FE a tick from that versus 40. Dramatically superior. Almost immediately. And we should technically have infinite lava. It just depends on how fast we're producing lava over here versus how fast we're consuming it over here. And we won't know until suddenly <laughs> we can't produce enough lava, in which case we'd have to upscale this, which is also not a problem, but maybe not the best. Because like what it may come down to is we actually use another line of these right here for just this line of upgraded ones, and that would be fine. Uh, we may eventually run into the throughput for the pipe as well, but yeah, we'll upscale. I don't know. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll have a line of a line of these just because we can, and we'll focus the magmators. Now we'll have another line of these right here, and this will just branch off into another, right? That would be fine. And we may even exchange the servos for retrievers for over here. That might be fine. Just suck it through like a straw. And that way we wouldn't need to expand our line at all. Perfect. Great plan. But yeah. For now, some small upgrades are had. And this should be relatively easy to auto-craft. But I think we still need to focus on the cables first. So let's add them to the list. First of all. Cables? There you are. Uh, why are you like this? Please no longer focus this field. Thanks. And then cables onto the list and then regular cables onto the list great and then we just have to dig more as well we just gotta dig 
Got to do a lot of digging. Oh, it sorted our flipping inventory. Flipping sorted it. Savage. Oh, look, our mana tablet is almost full as well. After all this time. Here, have this. Here, have these. And then yet packs. We gotta work on that too. We'll get there eventually, one day. Uh, but we need the cables first, so that we can have more lines for our auto crafting system, because this will just cover the ceiling in basically a checker box of these. And we'll maybe stick these at the end, or we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. But we'll leave it there for now. We've made some progress, kind of. Yeah, we can call that progress. It's tidier if nothing else. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, friends, keep on cooperating. Bye.